that knows how to do kit things, but it's not really, like, good. All right, well, I hope to never see the Ken. Yeah. But speaking of uh, other matchups, we have Peach versus DK. Right. Another big body against Razo. This one is a uh, YMCA, who we saw a little bit earlier. Uh, plays very explosive. As soon as he gets a land, he lands a hit that he knows is going to be able to convert. He just goes in as far as he can go. But Razo not relenting in his pressure against big bodies, already taking his stock and even sniping YMCA offstage. I like what YMCA is doing this time. He's like coming down aggressively, like, okay, I'm not going to let you up air me for free. Like, you're going to have to like fight me down all the way to the ground. Mm -hmm. I like the aggressive aerial calm, you know, trying to avoid getting fared off stage. Yeah, floating back, that side beat not going to be able, not going to be of much use in this game. I like how he almost got that, that side beat too, but like, you know, Razo just being like, okay, this, uh, like, Turnip doesn't hit on Nair too, and like, the Nair was just barely able to avoid the, the armor on the side beat. Even right there, using Toad as a, a defensive tool for against YMCA. Oh no, oh no! Oh. Really? 75%? Oh. Okay. All right, Sakurai, we were about to have a talk. <laughs> you know what the most unfortunate thing about that was? Is that the only reason why he got that combo came with is because YMCA wanted to like, press the button and attack for it, but he picked up the turn instead. Yep. He left himself open, which was the green light for Razo. And uh, apparently that green light hasn't gone away yet. As Razo's still sitting at three stocks, but that copter should take care of it. No, it doesn't! The bear? The reach! No, no Razo knowing his oh limits, be like, I'm just gonna hover right above your body, and I'm just gonna spin the wind. I, I, see, I see you spinning there. Let me show you my own little spin. Whee! Spinning and winning for sure. I don't... This might be a... Uh, this might be a Wario matchup. Yep. I mean, this is also a best of five, so he does have a little bit of room to, you know, to experiment. And you see him racking his brain, looking into his soul and heart to wonder what is the right answer. Maybe it's the Wario. Maybe that heart and soul is in his gut and with that waft, that full death. Ooh. Well, let's find out. Stealing souls since Brawl with that fart that reaches the heavens. Here we go, no. I mean, already he's doing a better job in, with the Wario now. He's not getting as comboed. Not getting zero to death? Yeah. I guess that, that's a great feature. Didn't get zero to death. <laughs> Hey, I can actually like pressure her shield and like <laughs> not get punished for whatever I do. I mean, the command grab is also going to help out yeah. because if Razo does start to play a little bit more defensive, sitting in shield, can always you know take a bite. All right, cover a little bit percent from it. Mm -hmm. Better out of shield options. Kill confirms are easier to land. I don't know. I mean, you don't have that that kill throw that you jump off the stage with. I mean, yeah, like, like losing the kill throw kind of sucks, but I mean, like, you do have a kill throw. Yeah, you do. Fourth throw is still a kill throw, so... Ooh, kind of rushing in that that advantage right there. No, Razo trying to punish it, but unfortunately, that that command grab hitbox of the bite is just so big. It's big. But dash attack will kill Wario at 170%. Okay, we're getting to the ledge, and... Using a half waft, very smart from from YMCA. I mean, that's I, I like that option just because you know he got the kill with it, and now waft is going to be on deck a little bit earlier for maybe the final stock. Yeah, I mean, if everything goes according to plan, you should have be able to use at least two wafts in this game now. If he lives long enough to see that second stock, because oh my God, Roswell's just not letting him build up any time. He's like, okay. You used your trump card. I'm on the clock. Right now, back air to just keep YMC off stage, down air into forward air. Even using the Peach Bomber to gain a little bit of distance, uh, close the gap between him and YMCA. I mean, I like the way that, that Razo really utilizes the side B. 
he uses it for pressure, for distance, for approach. You know, really making, showing the utility of that move. And there's that bear, that lagless bear from the, the short off float cancel. Oh my god, and that toad lasting a long time too. He saw YMCA trying to punish the, the side B, but unfortunately not going to be able to do it and jumps into it instead. Hey, it might be time to you know, make use of that half loft. I mean, if he, could, if he could just find this kill, then he might be able to just eke out a, a, a cheesy victory, but you know what? Peach is just like, okay, I see you got a big booty. You got a big booty kill. Let me give you my big booty kill. So that's a quick 2-0 for Razos. Are we going to see back-to-back 3-0s in semis? And then the same matchup that we've seen for a few weeks in a row now? Oh, my God. I mean, that's sometimes that's – it really be do like that, you know? Like that. Yeah, I really do like that sometimes. Okay, well, YMCA bringing, putting back on the tie. Yep. DK, King of the Jungle coming back. All right. uh, enough monkeying around. Let's 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 uh, bring back the the tried and true. Now at least in the start of game two, I thought the Wario, you know, wasn't doing too bad. Wasn't doing too bad, but it, it's a comfort pick at this point. That's true. You gotta know. You gotta. You gotta go with what you know. Yeah. At least you know this, this could be you know a worse matchup as far as like character charts go, but at least you feel more comfortable and you feel exactly. better in it. He knows what to look out for. Okay. Well, a bunch of turn plays. Coming in for Razo. You're getting a parry into a, with a back air punish. You know, at least with DK, you're living for super long percents. But, you know what? 200%? That's nothing for DK. That's just rage and more fuel for the fire. It's too stiff. Yeah. All right, back, back there, yep. And that's Wednesday because that's just business as usual for Peach. Okay, down tilt. Great, great extension. Two bunch of airs. Here we go. Now Peach starting up her string again. No. Something to just go with the, the turn up uh, aerial cancel. But yet again, I was about to say like DK, please, not like this. Don't get don't get turn up gimps. But luckily only eating one turn up and ooh, that should be death. And that will. Oh, man, just sneak in that side B right there. Yeah, taking the stock with DK, but 140% on onto YMCA already. And yet again, YMCA losing the stock at 180%. So, I mean, you live for super long percents, but it doesn't really matter if you can't do any damage in the meantime. Man, great evasive maneuvers coming from Razo. Oh, you even getting? Okay, he's fine. He's fine. Yeah. He, but he may not be fine anymore, but no, Razo down tilts the wrong direction. It doesn't matter. It Had enough time to turn around and down tilt again. <laughs> I like that he, that Razo's going for these death smashes as a legend. He keeps picking the golf club. He's trying to cap two frame on one here. Oh, I like that. But unfortunately, Razo with enough arrow grip to be like, okay, even though I air dodge, like, I can still avoid it. Oh, is that going to be good? The That's power good. of love. Yeah. The power of love and friendship is strong with Razo. Call him a magical girl. 